Now let's dive into building Reno costs. Last week, we kind of spoke briefly on the ABCD properties. Uh, Tiffany cut me off. She's like, no, that's next week's episode. So mm -hmm. I had to stop. But now we get to dive into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're walking through this house and building your Reno costs is take tons of notes and take tons of pictures. This is every last thing you can think of. The kitchen knobs, the hinges, because you're going to be taking account if you're replacing that. You're taking a picture of every door, front and back. You're taking a picture of the electrical panel, of the breakers as well, under the sinks, and anything else you can think to take a picture of. Yeah. I mean, I know this deal we just did, there were probably 15 pictures online, which is a normal It amount. was actually pretty good, but good listing for this I level took a house. couple extra pictures of things that I noticed, and we were still sitting here like, oh, I wish we had more stuff. Yeah. At that point, you went and looked at it and got more insight. But yeah, even if you think you're taking a ton of pictures, take even more. Yeah, that's right. So what are you going to do with all these notes and all these pictures? The next step you're going to do is you're going to go build a shopping cart. You're going to literally go on Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, whatever, you know, hardware store or big box, uh, you know, fix up your house store. Yeah. There is, you're going to build an online shopping cart. Now you should have, while you were doing this, you know, walk through in your due diligence, taken measurements of the windows, taken measurements of the doors, taken measurements of the floor. So you can get uh, the correct quote on, on the flooring and all of that. And you're going to build an actual shopping cart. Now, when you build the shopping cart, you're going to get to the end. It's going to give you a subtotal. Put that subtotal and the entire cart, I would say, into an Excel chart. Now you're going to take and apply 15% on top of whatever that number is, right? If it's a $10,000 right? at a minimum, if it's a $10,000 shopping cart, you're going to have $1,500. You know, that's, that's just what you're going to yeah. do. I know when we first started, we didn't do that. And after a couple deals, you would give me a cart number and I would just be like, yeah, we're going to round that up an extra five, 10 grand. You would usually go five grand over. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, there are going to be unknowns and those unknowns add up so quick mm -hmm. because when you go to add a bathroom, you're, you're probably thinking, okay, we got a toilet, we got a sink, we got a shower. And that's the three things you add to your shopping cart. But what you're missing is all the drywall that's going to go into fixing it. Flooring. All of the flooring that's going to go into fixing it. All of the plumbing, not just the hard plumbing, but all the fixtures as well. When you go buy a, or a sink faucet, you also have to make sure it has a drain. And with that drain, you also have to make sure there's an S-trap. And when you put in plumbing, you also have to make sure that there are valves. There are so many little things that you may not be thinking of. Yeah. And so when I go build my shopping cart, I don't actually put in every last little piece of plumbing. I say, okay, there's a bathroom. I know that there's going to be about $500 in random plumbing parts for that bathroom. So what if you don't know what all it entails? Like, is, does it make sense to have a contractor or what it would, would you absolutely, recommend? I would recommend that you get a contractor out to that house while you're in due diligence. So you're going to have to be prepared. When you make that offer, make sure you have someone that you've already called and said, hey, I'm making an offer on a house. If I get the offer... Can you meet me within these three to five days to walk it with me? Or hire an inspector. Or hire and a lot of inspectors are also handymen. I would not use the yeah. same inspector to do the work. Right. But they should be able to give you a report that you could take to a contractor. Right. So all of this you're saying is before you make the offer. This right? is um so with when going nitty gritty into building this Reno cost, that I would say is in your due diligence. Okay. That's so your, you've made that's, an offer. That's you've made the offer and you're under contract. This is where you are in due diligence. Okay. When you're like just getting started. You're going to do that know... first section of looking at the house. You're going right. to open every door. You're going to look under every cabinet. You're going to step on every and piece you know of flooring. You want to add a bathroom. Let's yeah. say, call a handyman and say, hey, I want to add a bathroom. Here's roughly what it looks like. How much ballpark? You know, and most bathroom additions, depending on your area, are going to be low end of $5,000 upwards of fifty thousand yeah. dollars well and any example on the level. like you know i'm gonna it's a two thousand square foot house and i need to replace the floors call a flooring company and say i want mid-grade carpet throughout the house or i want i don't know whatever flooring you plan to put in yeah they can give you a ballpark quote yeah that will get you at least in a roundabout area then you tack on that extra 10 to 20 percent mm -hmm. whatever you feel comfortable with right and that gets you enough to be able to make a solid offer. That's right. 